Welcome to AFAX number one stop to entertainment and trending news. Amira had so much to say about her ex-husband and that is Jamal Rosafi. And I think we can now officially say that that is her ex-husband as she also shared receipts to prove that they are officially divorced. So she was very, very serious. They are not separated. They are legally divorced. With that being said, she also opened up about abuse in the marriage. It's bad. Let's just get into it. So she took to do a Q&A and she wrote, I feel like being petty today, ask away. So somebody asks, you have been so happy lately, secret. She put out avoiding toxic narcissists and focusing on achieving my goals. Congrats on your weight loss. How much do you weigh now? Thank you. So far, I've lost 36 kilos. Mbona alikatana vitu zako? Pettiness plus wickedness. Sasa hata vyombo ni kitu ya kukatalia na surely. For those who might not be up to speed, it was alleged that Amira was kicked out of her Syokima home. You remember she had renovated the house? Yes, that house. She was kicked out and right here she officially confirms it as well. And she did not leave even with the utensils from that house. And that is what she's confirming right here. Are you guys co-parenting? If yes, how is it so far? It's a nightmare. I love my kids to death. And if I had a choice to go back in time and make the right decisions i wouldn't have picked him as their father unfortunately lakini maji ukishaya vulia nguo huna budi kuyaogea do you have any regrets so far she responded i wish i had left earlier to be honest what do you tell your babies about the whole situation they are big boys they know everything that's been happening i can't answer all the questions today but since the internet never forgets i leave this here for my boys one day when they grow up inshallah they will see this i stayed in a toxic and violent marriage because of them held on to a marriage that was already broken he was the worst person i have ever met and i loathe him with a passion i will never forgive him and even if i die today only god knows when i wouldn't want him to bury me or even mourn me i left because i had to be happy with myself mumeachana legally and there's the document amira shared and it is certificate of divorce so they are legally divorced do you see yourself getting married someday she put out absolutely are you in a relationship she responded i'm very happy where i am she also shared this the pain will disappear once it has finished teaching you and she also captioned with that i'm no longer a caged bird i hope you find your wings to seize love and light yani this man used to abuse you physically she responded he did and was actually pregnant at that time 2021 and it was his sister's wedding being done in my house that was the latest incident let me not talk of how he used to beat me nikio hata nine months pregnant with my son amir this time he hit me in front of my kids his parents and his family and they stood there actually gassing him up to beat me and that's when i was done had a miscarriage i know some of you all here were at my house that day you can come and confirm if this is true if only i could write everything i went through with this man in the past two years in summary it was mental physical and emotional abuse she also put out that said i think i need me another holiday and right there you've heard it from amira what her marriage was like being abused physically mentally emotionally and even one time she was beaten in front of their family members and they stood there and watched she even lost a pregnancy due to the beating that she used to receive from her ex-husband allegedly and today she's also answered that big question as even many people who are like why can't you just leave this marriage she has put out that she used to do it or stay there fighting for her kids trying to keep that family together until she couldn't no more well jamal has not responded to these allegations but he has shared moments with his sons they were with him at the office he shared some photos of him together with his sons and also some videos on his insta stories and this is what he had captioned always find time for the things that make you feel happy to be alive happy sunday well that's it you're up to date thanks so much for watching subscribe if you haven't also turn on your post notifications so you're notified once we have any new uploads i'll see you on the next one bye bye